لن أهاجر وقعوا عني وجعلوني ملفا منزيا مثل أعقاب السجائر مزقتني الغربة وبت في وطني مهاجر I said, how can Israel dehumanize Palestinians? We never heard Arabic hip hop before, so for us it was, in a way, we have we have to invent it. I'm an artist. I'm in prison only because I write. I was afraid to go uh, in the streets. I was. It was total shock for me. To be critical of Israel is known as commercial suicide in the art world. I mean, we have experience, experience uh, uh, you know, a, a scary, scary moments in, in, in the last uh, five, six days. They said that there is a curfew from eight uh, till morning. And what was very scary is that the curfew was only for the Arabs, while the settlers were free to walk in our neighborhoods. Adding to that, that the police was protecting them while they throw stones, they burn houses. What we wrote, it's it's something from, you know, from, from feeling very uh, helpless. We as Palestinians, uh, we, we don't have the same rights as uh, Israelis have, uh, or media or support or anything. So, so we felt that, and we felt that also when we were performing on, on stage. I mean, Israelis don't have any problem when, when you think about how, how life is good, but in the second of Palestinian will go on stage and think about uh, yo, my life is sucks suck because of uh, because uh, the practice of the government or the practice of of uh, of not having equal rights to all citizens in inside of Israel. Then everyone will tell you stop, stop, don't talk about that. That the Israeli army and police came to our home. They arrested us uh, both from home in the morning. They searched our home, put our children in one room, didn't allow them to speak to us. They had, at the same time, simultaneously attacked uh, the conservatory, Yavuz, and offices of our auditors. Israel decided to attack culture and cultural institutions. Because basically, I mean, we do not uh, oppose any threat musically, <laughs> of course. The police coming and soldiers to my house in three o'clock in the morning. They translate the, uh, they translate the, the poetry I write uh, wrong. I talk in Arabic, I write in Arabic, and anyone know the Arabic language in the course. I suffer too much. I ask myself what I, what I do. I, I don't do anything. I only uh, write what I see, what I feel. <laughs> Uh, Miri Regev, who was then the Minister of Culture and the Mayor of Akko, 
um, they, they were conducting a campaign against me saying I'm glorifying terrorists with blood on their hands. This produced a wave of threats and hate against me. I do feel lonely. Um, people um, many times afraid to uh, collaborate with me. I guess they know that the power of art and they want to silence every criticism on Israel and its policy. I had attended a talk in the Zobladovich space in, um, in Kentish town. After that, I posted something on my Facebook page, which was really just curiosity. I said, we've all heard the rumors and the rumors are that the, the, the funds all come from arms dealing and, um, and that I've also heard rumors that the collection doesn't accept work that is critical of the state of Israel. But does anyone have any facts to substantiate that? But the next day I was called into my gallery and I was told in no uncertain terms that as part of a community in a, in a gallery with people who uh, have to feed their children and or their elderly parents, I was compromising that. I needed to remove that post. I believe, you know, with, with culture and with, with music, we can bring more awareness of what's happening in Palestine. Arts has the ability to uh, produce narratives and to um, enter the hearts and the minds of the audience. I use my art to resist the occupation. I have only this.